What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is Huawei has released a iPad Pro clone. This thing looks exactly like an iPad Pro. So here you are, you have the tablet right here, the iPad Pro. And again, it just looks completely almost identical to an, uh, a regular iPad Pro, except for the fact that it does have a camera in the top left corner on the display, which the iPad Pro doesn't have. Now, as for specs, you're gonna get a 10.8 inch display with a 2560 by 1600 resolution, a Kirin 990 processor with a 90 screen to body ratio, so very small bezels all around, 4.9 millimeters thick, 460 grams in weight, it comes in uh, six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage, or you can get an eight gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage, an eight megapixel front camera, 13 megapixel rear camera, 7250 milliamp battery, standard charger of uh, 20 watts with support up to 40 watts, 15 watts of uh, wireless charging speed, 7.5 watts reverse charging, meaning you throw a device on the back and it'll charge it. Also comes with a M, they're what they call it an M pencil, so a stylus to write on the display. So very cool, you know, looking device. It does not run Google Play Store at all. So you're gonna have to hopefully find some way to sideload that. Otherwise, you'll just run the uh, proprietary operating system that Huawei has created. Next up, if you're interested in Fire TV devices, there are some good deals going on right now. So you can get a Fire TV Cube, which just came out, their newer version just came out. It's now 90 bucks, so it's $30 off right now or 25% off, wherever you wanna look at it. They also have their regular Fire TV sticks, which is a 1080p one for 20 bucks. Really, really low price right there. Or if you want the 4K Fire TV stick, you can get it for as low as 25 bucks. These deals are going on right now. Um, I don't know how long they're gonna be going on, so if, you wanna, if you're thinking about getting these, I would definitely recommend picking them up right now. Everything is linked down below for these deals. Also, Apple's Black Friday deals are coming up officially on their site. Um, you're gonna get up to a $200 Apple gift card on select products that you'll buy. The deals start this Friday and they end on Monday. And it doesn't go into detail about which products are gonna give you the up to 200 bucks. It's probably gonna be their expensive computers. I doubt you're gonna be able to get a phone and get 200 bucks back, but uh, just keep in mind, the most you're gonna get is a $200 gift card. And then the last story of the day is we're actually seeing some benchmarks for the Galaxy S11 5G, which will have the Exynos 990. Obviously, there'll be a Snapdragon 865 version, but the Exynos 990 also comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And remember, this is the middle of the road S11. It's not the large, ultra large one it's not the small one and it comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM so it's a nice thing to see on this that they're doing that I'm not into huge benchmark scores but here they are 427 on the single core 2326 on the multi-core score but again the big takeaway from this is that it looks like they're gonna throw in 12 gigabytes of RAM for the middle Galaxy S11 remember last year's S11 um, they had 8 gigabytes of RAM but on the, the you know the ultra high-end S10 version they had S10 plus I should say they had up to 12 gigabytes of RAM so it looks like they're probably gonna you know equal those out. I doubt the S11 Plus model is going to have 16 or 20 gigabytes of RAM. It's just, I don't think we're at that point right now. I think that might be the year after or maybe even the year after that. But yeah, very cool to see that they're not going to skimp on that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question up to you guys is, is 12 gigabytes of RAM, you know, fine with you? Or you can find with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Let me know in the comments down below. Or do you think these Samsung phones need more? Thanks for watching. Also, I'll give you a bonus question. What are you buying this Black Friday? Or are you looking for, what are you looking for deals on Black Friday? Is it a TV, a video game, a video game system, something else? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.